That's and I was going to say, that's what's going to happen. We're going to end up with somebody like Byron Donalds or somebody random, somebody who we have. I don't before. even think it's going to be Byron Donalds. I no, really I don't know. think it is. I think he's too common of a name. I'm just going to say, like, we're going to be sitting here. We're going to be going, holy crap. I never saw that coming. Once, it could be Wayne Dupree. It could be Thor. It could be Thor. It's going to be Thor. I'm telling you, before the end of the week, because mark it down. Jordan's going to take his name out. I'm going to mark let, it down. Is this a prediction? Let him lose again. He's and, and look, let him lose again and lose more votes. He's going to take his name out. And what you'll see is when another speaker gets put in there, an establishment guy, watch him get his freaking committee chairmanship stripped off him. Who? Jordan. You think so? For daring to do this, yeah. I don't. I'm saying Wayne. That's going on the official prediction sheet. Yep. Put it down. Thor. Put it down. I'm going Thor. with unknown. Thor I'm going will with be who hasn't even come up yet. Touch Thor where you will be. Hakeem Jeffries. No, <laughs> You're going with Jeffries? No. You know what? He he could do it though. They're when traitors. the American people sees that he's getting more votes than anybody on the Republican side, they're going to be like, "I thought it was majority rules." Yeah. <laughs> Not well, when your side's compromised. I mean, on the yeah. Democrat side, it's too bad they don't have somebody not crazy. You know what I mean? Because if they throw up like a Tulsi Gabbard or somebody, if she was in the House still, like there's a chance she could get through. Look, I'll tell you what, though. If the if the Republican Party is in the majority in the House and a Democrat gets put in there, everybody needs to get out of the Republican Party. I mean, I, I'm dead serious. That's, that's an embarrassment. I, you can tell when you have division... This isn't even real division. This is this is a division of the people that are corrupted and the people that are less corrupted than them. Because they're damn near all corrupt. When I was listening to that call in line on C-SPAN this morning, it's there crazy. was a few callers from a few Republican callers from Jordan's district that said he's been lying for years. I didn't know he was in Congress for 16 years. Did you know that? Yeah. He's been in there for a while. You ain't lying. I mean, I mean think about it. When he was in there, when we used to watch, he was a baby. He was yeah. him and and Gotti and and all of them. They were babies, man. And, and yeah, if and, you remember, it was awesome. the they were awesome. God darn, they were. Awesome. It was the young guns. It was Paul Ryan. It was Kevin McCarthy. Shh. It man. was Trey Gowdy. It was and Jim Jordan kind of came in on that wave. He did. He did. You're right. He did. But. I mean, man, you could pack a lunch and listen to them just ask questions. It's like, man, you felt like that you were getting right. You feel like you could pass the bar after listening to them <laughs> ask questions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Especially and they Gowdy. automatically have done nothing. No, they not, none of them have. Neither has Jordan, by the way. No. Yeah. No, yeah, and, yeah, and Jordan, right. like, yeah, his, his record is not great. Like, this is just. Yeah, yeah. he does have bad records. He's a good he actor. does have bad, but yeah, but yeah, yeah, he does have bad record. Okay, okay. Bye -bye.